Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Jay Witz, and welcome to another episode of TCG Tuesday, where I play a popular or emerging deck from the Pokemon Trading Card Game, play it on Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, and analyze it for you guys. So today is a deck that I've been waiting for a long time to play. Many affectionately call it Tool Time, uh, from that segment in Home Improvement. I just call it Toolbox. The whole idea of the deck is to attack with Trubbish. Yes, Trubbish, not Garbodor. No evolved Pokemon here, um, aside from Masquerade to move tools. Uh, you just want to attack with Tool Drop by getting as many tools into play. It's possible because Sigilyph has the ability Toolbox, which allows you to attach up to four tools to it instead of the usual one. So uh, it's a ridiculous combo deck. It's very fragile. It needs a lot to work. But man, is it a lot of fun to play. So uh, right away I get a Psychic Energy, and that's one of the things the deck really needs, is an energy attachment every turn, which is very hard when you're also running, you know, like, 16 to 18 tools to work with Toolbox. But um, when it does work, it's great. One of the nice things about the deck is there aren't really any techs that can save you here. You just need a few consistency Pokémon, a um, bunch of tools, and you can just run a ton of draw cards. That's why I've got the bicycles in here, so I've got a ton of supporters. Really, that's all I need. So here I'm debating, hmm, should I bench another Surskit? I see no reason not to. Um, you want to get at least one Masquerade to really have a good shot at winning each game. Uh, I'm okay with this setup, completely. I got the energy, I got the EXP share, which is essential for moving energy to a new Trubbish. And that's the one thing that really does hurt this deck, is that two energy attack cost. There's no real easy way to get around that, other than running the EXP share to save you from straight knockouts. So my opponent plays Juniper, and right away you can see they're running the turbo version of Verizian Genesect, which I actually ran on TCG Tuesday, two episodes ago. They attach the grass, I'm waiting for the Culrus machine. If they get it, they hit me for 50 and can start setting up. If they don't, they're in trouble. Now, one of the nice things about them playing Team Plaza Badge is Tool Drop actually allows you to do extra damage um, for your opponent's tools as well, both yours and your opponent's. So uh, that's an extra 20 damage for me, I can't complain. I also drew the Mask Rain, which is really nice. Uh, now, with Tool Reversal, you can just move tools whenever you want when you have Masquerade in play. So sometimes you're going to be loading up those Sigilyphs because they can hold four tools at a time, but you don't always necessarily have the ideal tools on them. Right now, I want a Silver Bangle on my Active Trubbish. I don't have one on either of my Sigilyphs, so no reason to move things. I'm trying to debate which supporter to play. I could Dowsing Machine, discard two more supporters and get Juniper. I just decide to end, and ooh, beautiful! Not only did I get two tools, but I got the Silver Bangle. Doing the math, this is going to be perfect for 170 damage. Enough to knock out an EX Pokemon with my basic turn two. Uh, I also got the energy, so really I could not have been happier with this setup. Boom! Tool drop, 170. Can you handle this garbage? Literally garbage. Um, man, so Trubbish, of all things, uh, hitting for 170 on turn two. Now this doesn't happen every time. Um, I put a place the Culrus Machine. I think they thought they still had Team Plaza Badge in play and could attach the Vrizian. Um, they just straight up concede, which is sad. I would have loved to show you guys me taking six prizes and three tool drops straight. But uh, because we don't have that, uh, why not play another game? Try and show you guys what this deck's all about. So I don't know if this deck is necessarily good. Um, I would definitely not say that. But it is a ton of fun, and it's a nice cheap combo deck if you just want to jump into the game and sort of test your luck. This deck does lose to a ton of things though. Uh, if your opponent gets Garbodor in play, you can't attach multiple tool cards, you can't move tool cards. Um, that's pretty bad. Uh, sometimes it just struggles to deal that 180. Sometimes it struggles against Darkrai because he's Psychic Resist- Oh! There's Darkrai. Well, Psychic Resistance. <laughs> so... Here it's tough. Uh, what should we do? Right away, uh, I think I'm going to grab a Trubbish because you need to get that energy attachment every turn. If I don't get this first attachment, uh, I'm going to be in a whole lot of trouble. So pull him in, drop him, drop the energy. Hopefully get a good supporter off this random receiver, but this is going to be tough. This is a matchup where you really do need to go first to have a chance. Uh, I was lucky enough to go first here, so just hoping I can make something of it. 
I'm looking, I have the Pokemon Catcher. Um, I'm gonna attach the Silver Mirror, which is excellent in Plaza matchups, terrible in this matchup because my opponent runs no Team Plaza Pokemon. But I can catch her up the Darkrai. Uh, normally you want to lead with Sableye. You're not going to be attacking with Darkrai turn one. You want a Dark Patch to him on the bench. So having him up, him up could uh, stall me a turn, stop my opponent from getting some kind of crucial tool card or something. And especially now that Energy Switch is no longer in the format, Catching up Darkrai turn one hurts them a lot more than it used to. So I've got two tools, I just decide to pass. I don't want to lose any of these tools uh, in case, well, something like this. Irving City Gym, I get poisoned, I can't retreat, something like that. Uh, maybe attacks with Sableye and a Dark Claw. Um, I don't know. The scenarios aren't perfect, maybe I should have at least attached something, but here, if I remained asleep, the Floatstone would have been completely wasted. So, um... There's that, I suppose. The thing is, uh, I really want this silver bangle on Trubbish. Uh, right now he's got the silver mirror that I just attached for the sake of attaching tools. Um, that's a real shame. So I can attach these tools, sort of spread them around, but not really to the ideal targets. In fact, I'm not even sure I want to attach this bangle. Because if I don't get the masquerade, it's going to be tough. Um, we do. Uh, none of these supporters are good. Bianca, I'm not drawing anything. I really wanted to prevent my opponent from getting a new hand. They didn't play supporter, but it is what it is. So I could attack this turn, uh, retreat and attack, but I don't know. Uh, you definitely at least need EXP share. So I attach, uh, try and use one of my bicycles. Of course I get the EXP share. Now there's no way you could actually predict that um, off of one draw with bicycle. But it's all right. I've got energy spread out. So if either of these trebuchets are knocked out, I'm okay. Got a few more tools. I don't want to use this bicycle yet because I can drop some cards out of my hand, use it for more next turn. But either way, not a perfect scenario. I at least want to retreat. My opponent's got the Verbank City Gym in play. So if I get knocked out um, through poison damage, that's not good. Uh, it's just a free knockout for him. So I retreat with the float stone that I used and my turn. I'm okay leaving this one Trubbish up. It's not perfect, but if he somehow can attack me with Night Spear this turn, at least the EXP share will activate and I'll get to move the tool. So he plays another Hypnotoxic Laser, and that's one thing that really can hurt my deck. You get poison damage, you do three in between turns of the Verving City Gym, and it does not activate EXP share if you are knocked out due to poison damage. Uh, damage in between turns does not count as damage from an attack, so I don't get to move that extra energy, which can hurt in the long run. So he finally does get the ability to retreat using Darkrai's Dark Cloak ability. Free retreat on Pokemon with Dark Energy. And he grabs two Hypnotoxic Laser. Uh, like I just said, Hypnotoxic is not a card that I like to deal with. Um, and now he's got it, so it's gonna be tough. I did get three tools though, uh, off, I believe it was his N. So I'm completely happy with that. Just dump them on a Sigilith for now. No one else can actually hold these tools, but that's kind of the beauty of them. You can hold three tools at once. So here I'm debating, you know, maybe if I hit Masquerade, I could have uh, gotten that Floatstone, moved it, retreated, been safe. But no, I didn't hit Masquerade, so I did the safe play here. Yes, I'm going to get knocked out if I pass, and then my opponent does a zero damage attack like Junk Hunt. But I need to start getting knockouts now. Um, I've got that bangle once again. It's not on my either of my trubbish. Definitely gonna need a masquerade at some point. I know I've got one in the discard pile now. Could use that super rod on, but I don't know. I'm a little bit hesitant. Here I've got that catcher, and it's a shame. Uh, if I had just one more tool or one more, you know, um, something like the uh, Silver Bangle or Masquerade to move things. I could knock out this Darkrai, but that Psychic Resistance is gonna do it for him. 160 damage, which is still completely awesome for a two energy attack on a basic Pokemon that's not fully evolved, but I'm okay with that. Um, my opponent apparently got End Away, who's Tool Scrapper, which is a valuable, valuable card against this deck. Allows you to discard two tool cards off your opponent. And not only does that hurt, that drops my attack by 40 damage right then and there, but in addition, he can get it back with Sableye over and over again. And it kind of is the perfect play for him right now, because he can knock me out through poison damage, EXP share will not activate, a um, whole lot of things go well for him on this turn. So I'm definitely not happy to see my Tool Scrapper go. Uh, makes me pretty sad, but 
it is what it is. So he's trying to decide his two tools. One of the things I really hope I disguise is the bangle. I want to keep that in play. Looks like I did. He gets rid of the EXP shares, which is interesting. Either way, when I get knocked out from poison coming into my turn, um, I'm not going to be moving any energy because it wasn't attack damage. So I'm okay leaves, leaving the shares right now. I need to hit a psychic energy and I'm good to go. He gets the scrapper back, which could be huge trouble if he continues to hit me. But um, I'm okay with this. I can at least knock out Sableye this turn. Or if I get a catcher, knock out Darkrai. Maybe set him back even farther. So I do get the Psychic Energy, something I really needed. Just needed at least one. And now the Super Rod's looking good. I can get Mass Grain back, a Psychic, and a Trubbish. Uh, and that's good to me. Don't run that many energy. It's one of the things that kind of hurts this deck. You have to fit all these things in. You want as many energy as possible. I think I have nine in here. Would love to run more, would love to have some way to accelerate energy, but none of it really works. So here, this is nice. Look at the level ball. Can go ahead and get Masquerade. Really wish I had Masquerade last turn, though. Could have moved that Silver Bangle to the active, knocked out Darkrai, which would have been awesome. But either way, I still at least can move some tools and knock him out. And on top of that, I can play N. He had a, just about a 15,000 card hand. And I want to get rid of that Tool Scrapper. Hopefully I end it for the second time this game. Got a second Masquerade out. Now that I can move these tools, one of the nice things I can do with Tool Reversal. Um, he actually has the Float Stone, so I don't need to move it. But I can move over to Trubbish. Um, I could, at the very least, uh, I could pick up Silver Bangle. Although, don't know if I want to right now. I'm not attacking any X Pokemon. I could pick up tools to save them from Scrapper. There's a whole lot of things you can do. I think I just want to keep my tools in play, but um, maybe I could pick up a tool off this other Masquerain. Yeah, he's got a bangle. I definitely want that to be in a safer spot. If it's Tool Scrapper, it's Tool Scrapper, but don't want him knocking me out, losing that bangle. If I pick it up, give it to the Sigilith, who has two Eviolite, uh, he's not going to get knocked out next turn. Darkrai can only deal 90, he can maybe deal 30 more with poison. Maybe he could deal 20 more if he gets yet another tool, but if he does that, he's giving me a tool. Basically all kinds of variables. I feel like the Bengal's safest there. So a tool drop here. Still for 160 damage, which is ridiculous. Sableye doesn't have the resistance, but I'm okay with this. The only problem is if he somehow finds a way to knock me out, or hits heads on Hypnotoxic Laser, and then I hit Tails in the Sleep Flip, then I'm in huge trouble. If not, um, I survive and can knock out his Darkrai. So that's not going to be the scenario here. He gets another basic off his Juniper. But here it's all down to this flip. I don't run Switch or any other kind of card that can Switch. In fact, this deck really benefits from the fact that many people are playing less Hypnotoxic Lasers with Verizion EX in play, shutting it off. So he gets Hypnotoxic Laser and a Bicycle. I wake up, which is huge. And here um, I can at least get an energy onto my benched one. I won't get to use EXP share again, but it at least gives me a chance to win this game. I've got another tool I can attach, which is great. No catcher, no supporter though. Definitely does hurt. But at the very least, at least I have 70 HP so that I can survive three more poison damage and I have to die in his turn. So here I've got a, I can just tool drop. I'm kind of looking, I'm like, oh yeah, it's not gonna work with EXP share, so I need to hit that psychic. Hit for straight 180 and pull up an N which is great. Um, I'm, I am actually winning and doing really well, but an N for four is something that I'm happy with at this point. It's not like I've knocked out EX Pokemon and I can only N for two, but I need to do anything in my power to hit one Psychic Energy, and then I can attack next turn. Possibly knock out a Darkrai or another Sableye, and despite the resistance, despite all these things uh, going against me, the Tool Scrapper, the Constant Junk Hunt, the Hypnotoxic Laser, I got such a good start that I'm really in a position to win this game. So he plays Hypnotoxic Laser, trying to get me to sleep. Not that it will matter, I'll be knocked out in between turns. But what I don't see from him is a basic Pokemon. So uh, if he can't do anything, I just attach an energy and win. So uh, that could be 2-0 for tool time here. And he didn't, he says he didn't pull a basic. So uh, Darkrai normally runs a lot of basic Pokemon. I've gone through a couple of Sableye, but I just couldn't hit anything, an Ultra Ball, anything. So. I attach my tools, spread the love, and tool drop here, even with the resistance for 200. I could have been a jerk and moved the bangle active too, but I feel bad enough with my opponent's luck. 
But there it is, guys! Tool time! Um, it's a ridiculous deck with a ton of tools, but it's a lot of fun, and sometimes it can beat the best decks in the format. I definitely don't think this thing is going to win a ton of tournaments, but I have so much fun with it and just wanted to show you guys. So thank you guys as always for watching TCG Tuesday. I'll see you guys next Tuesday with another Pokemon trading card game online match.